I am Miss Christine M. Nicolas, your subject teacher for this morning. Some of us are wondering, how does the geologist determine the age of the earth? What are the things they considered as one of the proof of this thing living for a billion of years? In this topic, we will going to discuss the geologic time scale, which later on provide us better explanation on the specific eras and periods in the history. Here are our lesson objectives. First, explain the different methods that determine the timing and relationships of events in geologic history. Second, describe the history of the Earth through geologic time. And last, discuss the important periods in the history of the Earth. So let us now discuss what is geologic time scale. It is a record of the life forms and geological events in Earth's history. Scientists develop the time scale by studying rock lay layers and fossils worldwide. Geologic time scale is also serves as the calendar for events in Earth's history, and the standard timeline used to describe the age of rocks, fossils, and events that form them. Also, this was used by the geologists to understand and determine the past events that happened on the Earth. Here are some of the mechanisms that used in the geologic time scale. First is the relative dating. This is the first basis for geologic time scale. In the relative dating, it cannot provide actual numerical dates of rocks. It only tells that one rock is older than the other but does not tell how old each of the rock is. Second is the radiometric dating. Numerical dates of rocks were determined in the radiometric dating. It is a method of it is a method used to determine the age of rocks by measuring its radioactive decay. Example, radiocarbon dating for organic remains could date up to 60,000 years. Next is the indexed fossils. It is used of marker fossils leading to determination of organisms predominantly living at a certain time and age. They make use of the fossils of organisms that are predominantly living at a certain time and age deposited in sedimentary layer of rocks. Giving time a name. So there are different divisions and subdivisions of the geologic time scale. So the primary and largest catalog divisions of time is the eons. Eons are divided into eras, the second largest section, and the eras are divided into periods. Periods are divided into epochs, the smallest section. So let us now discuss the different divisions and subdivisions of the geologic time scale, starting with the eons. Eons are the largest or most general division of time. Eons is divided into two, the Precambrian Eon and the Fainrozoic Eon. Precambrian and Fainrozoic Eon both consist of three eras as shown in the figure. The first eon was the Hadean, when the Earth and Moon were predicted to be formed, lasting over 600 million years until the Archean, which is when the Earth had cooled enough for continents and the earliest known life to emerge. After about 2.5 billion years, oxygen generated by photosynthesizing single-celled organisms began to appear in the atmosphere, marking the beginning of the Proterozoic. Finally, the Phanerozoic Eon encompasses 541 million years of diverse abundance of multicellular life starting with the appearance of hard animal shells in the fossil record and continuing to the present. A geologic era is a subdivision of geologic time that divides an eon into smaller units of time. Each eon is broken up into eras. Here are some of the major eras in the Earth's history. First is the Archean, second, Proterozoic, third, Paleozoic, fourth, Mesozoic, 
and the fifth is the Cenozoic. A geologic period is one of the several subdivisions of geologic time enabling cross-referencing of rocks and geologic events from place to place. Each era is divided into even more specific blocks of time called periods. Various geologic events are associated with each of period. Each period is again classified into different epochs. How is time divided? Major changes in Earth's history mark the boundaries between the sections. Most sections have been divided because of a major organism developed or went extinct in each section. Let us now discuss one by one the eons and then the eras of the geologic time scale. First is the Cryptozoic Eon or the Precambrian time. It lasted from 540 million years ago to 4,600 million years ago. It was the oldest and longest. It covers almost 90% of Earth's history. Simple organisms like bacteria, algae, protozoa was born in this eon. All the rocks that we know were formed in this eon, which dates to about 3.5 billion years old. This eon was divided into two eras, the Protozoic and the Archean era. The Archean era lasted from 2,500 million years ago to 4,600 million years ago. Earliest plants developed was the marine algae. The first life bacteria came into existence from 3,800 million years ago. The oldest rocks were formed in this era. Proterozoic era lasted from 540 million years ago to 2,500 million years ago. Marine invertebrates were probably common in this era. Few, some of them have few shells. Glaciations took place in this era, probably worldwide. The Phanerozoic Eon. It began from 500 million years ago and still continuing today. Divided into three eras, the Paleozoic Era, which is the past life, Mesozoic Era, which is the middle life, and the Xenozoic Era, which is the present life. The Paleozoic Era. It began from 570 million years ago and ended 250 million years ago. Divided into six periods, the Permian, Carboniferous Period, Devonian period, Silurian period, or Division period, and the Cambrian period. For the first time on Earth, organisms had hard parts in this era. This era was also the evolution and development of the Ridopites, amphibians, reptiles, fishes, wing-bearing insects, and the trilobites. The Mesozoic era. It lasted from 250 million years ago to 65 million years ago, popularly known as Time of Reptiles. Divided into three periods, Triassic, Jurassic, and the Cretaceous. This era, dinosaurs, mammals, and gymnosperms appeared. Next is the Xenozoic era, from 65 million years ago to present days. Divided into two periods, the tertiary and the quaternary. This era is the development of modern mammals, angiosperms, and human beings. So this is how Phanerozoic Eon was subdivided into eras. The Cenozoic, Mesozoic, and then the Paleozoic era. Eons was divided into eras, while eras was divided into periods. So now, let us discuss the important periods in the history of the Earth. First is the Carboniferous period. It lasted from 360 million years to 300 million years. It is an important period of Paleozoic era. During this period, first reptiles and pteridopites were formed and cool plants got spread. The dead bodies get buried in this period, forming the coals that we use today. Second is the Permian period. It lied between 300 million years to 250 million years. 
It is also an important period of Paleozoic era. Largest mass extinction happened in this period. Scientists are not sure what caused this mass extinction. Maybe because of the climate change and volcanoes. 90% of ocean life and 78% of land life died in this period. Third is the Jurassic period. Jurassic is an important period of the Mesozoic era. It lasted from 250 million years ago to 200 million years ago. During this period, first birds and mammals were formed. Gymnosperms were dominating plants. The dinosaurs were formed in Triassic period, reach at their peak in this period. The Cretaceous period. It is a period of Mesozoic era which lasted from 150 million years ago to 65.5 million years ago. It marked the end of the Mesozoic era and the beginning of the Cenozoic era. All of the dinosaurs and half of the other animals and plants were extinct in this period. Scientists think an asteroid hit Earth and dust clouds block out the sun. As a result, plants died and then herbivores, then carnivores. The Quaternary Period It is a period of Cenozoic era which has been lasting from 1.8 million years ago to present days. In this period, the humans evolved as the most intelligent creature of Earth and took over. It is divided into two epochs, namely Pleistocene and Holocene. So these are all the eons, eras, periods of the geologic time scale. Again, the primary and largest catalog divisions of time is the eons. Eons are divided into eras, while eras are divided into periods. Eons is divided into two, the Precambrian Eon and the Phanerozoic Eon. In the geologic era, it is the subdivision of geologic time that divides an eon into smaller units of time. In the eras, the Phanerozoic Eon is divided into three such frames, the Paleozoic, Mesozoic, and the Cenozoic. In the geological period, one of the several subdivisions of geologic time enab enabling cross-referencing of rocks and geologic events from place to place. So that is our lesson about geological time scale.